Hello little learners, Namaskar. Welcome to online classes. This is Dushita ma'am and today we will be starting with understanding exercise. So take out your pencil, eraser and let's get started. The very first exercise is complete the sentences. And the first question of the exercise is each rangoli design has kya ta sare rangoli designs mein natural elements like animals and flowers so write it down each rangoli design has natural elements like animals and flowers then do the second one in Bihar goddess Lakshmi's footprints are draw on the doorstep Done dear kids. Write it down. In Bihar, Goddess Lakshmi's footprint are drawn. D-R-A-W-N Drawn on the door steps. Then come to see. In Andhra Pradesh, people make an eight petal lotus called Astadil Kamal. Ashtadil Kamal. Write it down. A S H T A D A L Ash. Tadl. Then write it down. K A M A L. Kamala. Then come to the next one. In the olden days, rangolis were made with rice and wheat flour and other grains to feed the ants. Birds and animals. Done dear kids. So the first one was. Each Rangoli design has natural elements like animals and flowers. Second one is. In Bihar, Goddess Lakshmi's footprints are drawn on the doorsteps. Third is, in Andhra Pradesh, people make an eight petal lotus called Ashtadal Kamal. Fourth is, in the olden days, Rangolis were made with rice and wheat flour and other grains to feed the anim ants, birds and animals. Now, dear kids, come to question and answers wala portion. Question number 2. Answer the following questions. The first question is Why did the mother call Nita? And the answer is The mother called Nita to help her in making the rangoli. The mother M O T H E R mother called 
Nita to help her in making the rangoli. Dear kids, if you don't have space here, you can write here in this line. Alright? Then come to second question. What was the mother doing? What was the mother doing dear kids? Yes, the mother was making rangoli near the entrance of the house. The mother was making R A N G O L I rangoli near the entrance. E N T R A N C E entrance of the house. Then come to C. Why is Rangoli made on the day of Diwali? And the answer is Rangoli is made on Diwali. To welcome Goddess Lakshmi into our houses. Rangoli is made on Diwali. To welcome Goddess Lakshmi into our houses. Done dear kids. Now come to fourth one. What does Nita's friend use to make rangoli? What does Nita's friends use to make rangoli? Nita's friend uses rice. R I C E rice. And wheat flour to make rangoli. Nita's friend uses rice and wheat flour to make rangoli. Now dear kids, come to the new topic, vocabulary. Prefix What are prefixes? Read the words and notice the highlighted letters. Dear kids, these highlighted letters are called prefixes. When these highlighted letters are added to the word, the meaning of the word becomes changed. The meaning of the word get changed. So let us see. Rework. Repay. Rebuild. Unpack. Unknown. Unable. Adding these letters to the beginning of some words changes their meaning. As I told you. This words when add this letters once when added with the word it changes the meaning of the word and such letters are called prefixes. Now let us look at the examples of page number 89. Look at the examples. There are the examples of un and re. Un and re, they both are prefix. Un, when added to a word, it means not. Un ka matlab kya hota hai? Not. For example, untie means not tied. Unwell means not well. Re, when added to a word, it means to do again. Example, reapply. 
means to apply again. Redo means to do again. Re का मतलब होता है फिर से कोई काम करना. Un का मतलब होता है not to do that work. Okay. Now let's see the exercise portion. Take out your pencil and let's start our work. First is read the words aloud and add un or re to make new words. The first word is untie. Add un, you and un with tie and make untie. Then second is send. Add re, r e and make the word resend. Then Add un with fit and make it unfit. Then the next one is retry. Another one is unchain. Done dear kids. Now come to the right hand side wala session. Reuse R E Re U S E Use Reuse Then Redo or we can write Undo We can write both with Do Re as well as Un Then Unpack Then remake and restart. So this is how we had completed one exercise of prefix. So do you all understand what is prefix is now? Very good. Now Come to the second question. In the next question, what we have to do is use the prefixes un or re to complete the words matching the given definitions. There are few definitions and we need to guess whether the word is belongs to the prefix un or whether it belongs to the prefix re. Then we have to add it. As we know the meaning of un and re. Un means not and re means to do again. So let us do this exercise. The first is to do over again. To do over again. Here it says to redo. So write it down R E RE in first blank. Come to the second one. The opposite of kind. Opposite of kind. Kind ka opposite kya hota hai? Unkind. Very good. So write it down U N UN. Then to remove wrapping. It means remove karna. Wrapping ko remove karna. So unwrap. U N un W R A P wrap. Unwrap. Here we cannot write rewrap. Why? Because rewrap means to do it again. But here it is saying that to remove wrapping. So we will write unwrap. Now come to D. Not common. That is uncommon. 
we will write uncommon the not able we will write unable then to remove cover uncover bravo we have completed both the exercise of prefixes Hey kids now it's time for your homework and your homework is you have to write all the yesterday's new words kalam ne jo new words underline kiye the textbook number textbook page number 86 and 87 mein wo aapko apni notebook mein likhna hai and you have to give heading new words along with it you have to write this answer the following questions in your 1 a number notebook that is in your english literature notebook aapko new words likhne hain aur new words ke sath sath ye question answers likhne hain notebook mein so don't forget to read and write all this thing okay while writing read all the things and then write it down I hope you all understood. I'll be sending PDF of notebook work, so don't worry. If you missed anything, just see it from there and write it down. So, dear kids, that's all for today. Tomorrow we will meet again with a new topic and with lots of fun. So, bye. Take care. Thank you and Namaskar.